and just to make it very Reservoir Dogs. That's a skipping. No, you can't make that. Don't make that reference on your kid's YouTube channel. It's not for kids. It's not for kids. No, it's it's. Oh, child friendly. Sh 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 Welcome to Sharoof, my name is John Sharps And I'm Rufus Bluestuff And I'm Eamon Sharpson And the reason that you are graced with two and a half Sharpsons is because it's somebody's birthday I make you, I'm so old You're so old I'm so old Which is great because it's also my birthday in the water in your house. Yeah. What do you yeah, yeah, yeah. all these birthdays? <laughs> no, so that's older? something you can't anyway. Who's older? Good question. Oh good question. Well because, you know I'd like to say older in looks it's definitely Sharpie. Older in wisdom it's definitely me. Is it yeah? Yeah. I'm glad older you think so because you're dead it's... wrong. Now the thing is it was Rufus's birthday two days ago but by the time you see this episode because it's gone up tomorrow because that's how we roll by the time you see this episode, it will be my birthday, which is Monday. So there you go. Big almost like we planned it. It's almost like we planned it. So it will be, it'll be on, it'll be on YouTube. On yeah. Monday. It's John Sharpson. So it's your it. birthday bonanza. You go, you go to the video, see when it was uploaded, and if it wasn't the thirtieth of September, you know he's absolute spoofer. Absolute spoofer. An absolute spoofer. But it will be. I'm confident in my, in my own abilities. I mean, it's not as if I'm a producer and then in my own, uh, I present my own show. I mean, it's not a lot to do. Eamon, how are you keeping, man? Pretty great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, work's going great. I've got a new job and... Uh, you got a sweet new haircut. Thank you, yes. I'm yeah. loving that haircut. Yeah. Great haircut. Oh, Fair play to you. Thank you, thank you. That's, that's my... That's my wife's doing. That's uh, she cut. No, she cut your hair. No, what? No, she, she made me get a haircut. So it's oh, 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 right, right, right yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is the same thing, basically. Yeah. This, yeah. I guess you should. If it wasn't for Eamon's wife, Eamon would be going around looking like cousin It from the Adams family. Yeah, cool. yeah. That's not cousin It. Is the, the big hairy one. Oh yeah, it was a cousin It. I was, it was like, it's called the thing, and he was a hand. No, you, you are not yeah. up on your Adam's so family. No, I really am. It. I'm just checking to yeah. see if this mic is on. See we're flying here. Yeah, we're all good. Yep. Okay. Yes. Good stuff. Like no. Embarrassing. It would. We just have to do it again. That has happened before. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's kind of a weird one today because it is Rufus's birthday. It's my birthday, and for the first time ever, we've actually gotten to the bottom of our care packages, so we've nothing to open That's for strange. our birthday. Which sounds going to sound, but it's not because we've have been having a great time opening the care packages. Mm -hmm. So we thought that, in light of the fact that in a few days' time. You might have to crouch your head a bit, you're out of frame a bit, you're getting tall. Me? Yeah. Um, you Stop growing! Stop growing. In Give a few a days time, right, uh, the Joker movie, the anticipated Joker movie is coming oh, out. Oh, it looks good! It looks so good, it looks so good and I hope they do it justice. So we thought that we would discuss the Joker as a character and give you our two cents on who we think the best Joker is. What do you think of that, Rufus? I think that's a fantastic idea, but you know, just be aware that I'm the only one who's going to be right. Oh! Well. So you're entitled to your opinion, but it's wrong. Exactly. Right, okay. So, who are the Jokers? Well, I don't know who the best Joker is. I'm, I'm between two minds. Okay. But, I know who the worst Joker is. Well, I think we all know who the worst Joker is. Yes, I think, you're, yeah, you're, obviously you're talking about... No, 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 let's just hold it there a little second, mister. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through Jokers chronologically. Okay. Okay. Starting with, now obviously there are loads more Jokers that we can't even name because they're in comic book form, but it's like basically Jokers that have been on screens. So, 1960s Joker, Crash Bang Wallop, what a Joker. What was his name? Caesar Cesar, Romero, yeah, sir. Caesar Romero, okay, so that's going to be our first one, okay. right? Second Iconic, one is going to be uh, Mark Hamill's Joker. Uh, no, no Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson's a Joker. Oh, wow, I forgot Jack Nicholson. You forgot Jack! You I forgot, forgot for Jack Nicholson! How did you forget Jack Nicholson? Nobody Nicholson. forgets Jack Nicholson. You okay. can't handle Jack Nicholson! So we've got Cesar Romero, Jack Nicholson, uh, Mark Hamill. Yes. Uh, Mark Hamill. Heath Ledger. It's a funny story. No. About that. Uh, you... Yeah, have I? It was Heath Ledger because he talked to Jack Nicholson, who was the Joker before him. So, ha, we'll get into that later. Heath Ledger, uh, Jared Leto, and now Joaquin Phoenix and what our expectations are going to be. Right, let's start at the start. Says Romero. Now, uh, our father, George Sharpton, remembers the Joker from the 1960s Batman. He was taken to the cinema and they used to show that Batman, all, Adam West, all the time. Uh, and I've only seen a few recent episodes of 
Batman of Imagine, the old 60s Batman. And Wait, are they still making it? Yeah, no. Recent oh, episodes? You, you said recent episodes. Sorry, I've been watching some episodes recently. recently. Yeah, yes. yeah. So, um, and he's brilliant. There's a clip of him driving around Gotham in his clown car. And all he's doing, there's no cars on the road. And he's just going, oh, 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 the horn and waving at people who aren't there. And I was just like, man, he is exceptionally good. You see, that's the kind of Joker you'd like to have in your city. You know, that's yeah, a exactly. Fun Joker. Yeah, he's literally a Joker. Like, yeah. Yo, well, you'd, you'd hear about him, you know, robbing the bank and killing all the security guards. You'd be like, oh, oh that's hilarious. Yeah. Silly old he do it in such a charming way. Exactly. So, as a Joker, what do you think? Uh, yeah, not. He's not my Joker. He was the original Joker, though. Big boost to Phil, like. Well, you know, the original Joker was probably, you know, the Joker in the comics. Yeah. Well, yeah, but, okay, so he was basing it off that, but he was I'm, the first I'm sure you Joker. know. I'm sure Rufus knows. Of course. And I'm sure... I don't even know what it is, but I'm I sure know he it. knows. Yeah. But in the very first Joker comic... Yeah. He... I love you too, dies, sir. right? <laughs> he gets killed, he gets stabbed, but at the end, he's not actually dead. Right. What they were, what they were going to do was, they were actually going to kill him. In the old days, they used to kill off the villain at the end of every Batman story. Let's focus on this Joker now, because okay, otherwise okay. we'll be here all yeah, day. Okay. So, uh, you're not too sold on Caesar. No, you I, were very young as well. Exactly. I'm, I'm, first of all, it was <laughs> before, before my time, and I haven't seen enough. Fair enough. We'll park that for a minute. Next Joker, oh. Rufus. Jack well, well, he's cool. He's he's cool in his own way. Jack Nicholson basically playing Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's I don't know how much of a Joker he is. He's just he's just Jack Nicholson. That's just Jack Nicholson. It. And That's he's how evil. You say um, that. Yes. Isn't he? Yes. And you know, if you were ever going to get someone to be the Joker just by playing themselves, yeah. I mean, that's the guy you'd want to get. Now the role of the Joker as well, right? Start like the the weirdness around the Joker as a character with actors it started with Jack Nicholson. He said it messed with his head an awful lot. Mm. That he couldn't I get think out he was way. lying though. <laughs> I think he was lying. Do because, you? Yeah, I do because You think that was just he was just making that excuse I to, think he to was justify just, be, Yeah, exactly. Okay. exactly. So he created you know, something out of nothing. No, he was just using his excuse to be weird. Exactly. Yeah, to explain, it's like, to explain away his Oddness. It's not even the weirdest role he's played. Have you ever seen him in The Shining? Yeah, yeah. He's actually more of a more like the Joker in The Shining than he is in Batman. That's also true. But then Heath Ledger, right? Our next Joker, possibly. Man, the, go on. What? Yeah, I, sorry, I think you just skipped. Like you know. I, I did, but the reason is right. So Heath Ledger, next. Okay, the next real Joker on screen in that <sighs> movie, right? So but Heath Ledger went to Jack Nicholson and asked him for advice on playing the role. And Jack Nicholson, don't do not do it because he can get into your head and you won't get him out. Okay. And there's a clip when Heath, Le Heath Ledger passed away and Jack Nicholson was on a red carpet somewhere and some reporter said to him, what do you think about Heath Ledger dying? And he kind of stops because he was kind of fobbing them off. And he said, what? And he said, Heath Ledger was found dead in his apartment. And Jack Nicholson just goes, I warned him. Oh, oh, and I, I've, I've heard, I've heard, right? Yeah, we're going to show you that clip right now. Uh, what? He did he actually died in New York. Drug overdose. He died in New York. Yeah. 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 Just found him dead a couple hours ago. I warned him. Now, what do you think of that room? That's... Wow. I don't... You know, I've heard that if you say Jack Nicholson's name three times in the mirror, Jack Nicholson appears. That's twice. I'd love to... I'd love that. I'd be like, how are you, Jack? He's like, man, Sharp, you're on to something great here. That's what he'd say. No, he's a class act as Jack. Now we're going back to uh, Mark Hamill's Joker. Yes. Cartoon Mark Hamill's Joker. Joker Burr, I just said. He's so good. Yeah, he's, he's brilliant. So, so good. Okay. Give, us, give us a belt out, Mark Hamill's Joker. You love this. Hello, folks. Joker here, Cloud Prince of Crime. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty damn good. Thank pretty you. Good. Thank you. Very, very good. Very Four good. years in Rada. Mark Hamill's Joker. That, that was not bad. That <laughs> was not bad. He's, he got a lot he's better. learned. Yeah, he's yeah. learned from me. Because I used to be crap at it. Yeah. Go on, Smiley. No, I don't. No, 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 great at impressions. That's, he, that's a lie. He's one of the few sharpsons who is just the best at impressions, no. in fact. No. Smiley, let's hear it. Mary Pamela's Joker. No. Three, two, one. No, I'm going to sit by my bones. Family voice decision. Oh, my God. I almost did it for a second there. Oh, my God. And it would have been on YouTube forever. God, I'm so I would have just played it nine times in a row. <laughs> no, no. Okay, Mary Thomas Joker is probably 
probably... Well, you know, in fairness, in fairness, Sharpie, he had an advantage in that he was in, like, the best version of Batman. Yeah, also true. Very good points. Good stuff. Like, I mean, there are some... I mean, he did a lot of Jokers, and, like, I mean, he played the Joker a lot. Yeah. And sometimes it wasn't very good, because, you know, sometimes, like, there were, there were bad animated Batman films. Yeah. And, you know, he wasn't, he, he wasn't the best. So I think he can, you have to kind of grade in the curve. You have to kind of, yes, he was a fantastic Joker, but he was also in, like, the best version of Batman that there has ever been. Yes, that's very true. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay, moving on. Dark Knight. Yes. Oh, incredible film. Ledger. Up there in my top three films of all time. I love it so much. It's off my birthday. And part of that reason is because of Heath Ledger as the Joker. I love watching him. He is fantastic. He's unbelievable. You know what? Actually, I just watched the, the heist scene at the very start of the movie. Yeah. Just recently. Just about four days ago. Now, now, now. I killed a bus driver. Bus yeah. driver? <laughs> What bus driver? Yeah. Which really, he, that guy deserves what happens to him. I mean, you know, he just he's just begging the question. He's yeah, begging yeah. to be run over by the bus. But he is smart enough that he realised that they're all betraying each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> None of the other ones do. True, yeah. true. So, yeah. Um, oh, it's so good. It's brilliant. It's incredible. He's so good. And, like, the fact that... Uh, it, it's so sad. Yeah, like, it's really it's sad. It's so sad yeah. because uh, they set it up that he, he would, like... He doesn't die in the movie. He's yeah. the, you know he's captured and, and they set it up for a, for, for him to like, come yeah, back. Yeah, to come yeah. back. And the fact that you know my favorite bit that in that film is where uh, there's a big crash and Joker kind of gets up from the wreckage and picks up a machine gun because Batman is on the bike and he's walking along, trips up over something and the gun goes. <laughs> He could have killed, like, it's just <laughs> chaos. Yeah. And when you watch it, you're just like, geez, he's just, I just insane. Like, I just love his manner. But he's not. Just no, like, not. the little lick of yeah. his, his scars. Heat Ledger adapted oh, that and oh, couldn't oh. stop doing that afterwards. Because, yeah, yeah there's, a, there's clips of an interview with him and he's talking about a different movie. And he's still kind of going, and you'll throw out the odd, so, yeah. And I was like, whoa, he's still the Joker. He was still the Joker. Wow. And, and very good magician. Who? The Joker. Made the pencil disappear. Yeah, oh yeah, that was just oh that was such a fun trick. <laughs> it's it's gone. Ah, it's, it's gone. I'm gonna show half of that clip, I think. Uh, so brings us on to our next Joker, which is Jared Leto. Skip it. Let's go. Move on. I I, should, I, oh, I haven't on. seen it. No, Rufus, oh, you you hell, actually you, you haven't seen it. Well. I haven't seen the Oscar-winning movie Suicide Squad. That it is literally Oscar. It won an Oscar for best like special effects or something. Doesn't stupid. matter. Hang no, on, no, no, no. Suicide Squad did not win an Oscar. It did. Look it up. But you it, can Google that. Suicide Squad won an Oscar for and what? It, it did. It shouldn't even have gotten that. I remember reading it and I was like, it shouldn't even have won that. It was. It was makeup, I think. And I think it's because they had the the Croc guy, uh, Killer Croc. Oh my god! I think they won makeup for Killer Croc or something like that. Like I, Suicide Squad, like it should be a John Sharpton movie, right? It's crap. Oh. It's boring. It's for dumb people. Yeah. You go, you switch off your brain, you go woo. But I like nearly oh fell asleep god, during it. it was so wow! Bad. But I heard because Deadpool was so successful before Suicide Squad came out, they said, "Uh oh, humor is really killing it at the minute." We need to turn this into a funny movie, and they and it didn't know what it was because it was meant to be a serious film to start, and it was meant to be really good the original script, and then they just saw Deadpool and was like, no, we need to make our movie like this, and tried to throw in a bunch of nonsense and See, a bunch of crap. Don't blame Deadpool. Exactly, right? like they Deadpool just ruined amazing. it. It was just crap. Now, Rufus, you were saying earlier on that you heard that people were saying he's actually a good Joker. No, I'm for, like I said, I haven't actually seen the movie. This is actually probably the only thing with Batman in it that I haven't seen. I'm yeah. barely in it. Well, that's so, probably why. And I the mean, Joker's barely in it. Yeah, that's, no. So, this is what I thought it was going to happen. They introduce some stupid villain. Um, Enchantress? Thank you. I was going to I was gonna call her the Enchanter, but yeah. Uh, the Enchantress, okay? And it's... it's Oh, she's so terrible. She's a terrible villain. Yeah. But uh, I thought the movie was going to be they battle the Chantress, uh they lose, but then they get back together. Like they, they, you know, be a team and then they win. And then the Joker comes in and he's the actual villain of the movie. Yeah. But no, it, the Joker doesn't do anything in the movie. No. He's completely pointless. 
it's it makes no sense at all. Gee, oh, it's just awful. Let's let's just move on. Sorry, yeah. Jared Leto's not even in the running because the movie was so terrible. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix, what do we think? Well, uh, I mean, and we've only seen the trailers, which yeah. are you know purposely designed to lie to us about how good the movie. I mean, oh, that's it looks so good, though. It looks I mean, so good. First Suicide. Trailer, I was like, okay, this could be good. Yeah. I know, I know. It's like it has Bohemian Rhapsody. I love Bohemian yeah. Rhapsody. Yeah. Bohemian Rhapsody is a good song. And if yeah. it's in this movie, it must be. A good and in movie. fairness, the soundtrack was pretty good. Yeah, that was yeah. good. Like, yeah. I mean, if you're gonna give it anything, anyway, yeah. Suicide Squad and kiss my foot. So let's, uh, Wacky Phoenix. What do we think? Uh, I think. It's going to be good. It got a seven minute standing ovation in Vienna in the theatres after they showed it. In Venice? Was it Venice? Yeah. Venice. Sorry, not in Ven Vienna, in Venice. Yeah. So they saw it like this, and they. The seven minutes is a long time. Like they, to I yeah. just, you shoot the credits. A long time. I'd say they were just clapping through the credits. Okay, imagine you're clapping for the entire Sharoof. <laughs> you would be tired. You'd be yeah. knackered, but also this is way over seven minutes. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, it just... I think so it stop clapping! You can yeah, stop clapping you can stop now! Clapping. You've, you've done it. Yeah, you can, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm expecting great things. And also, Joaquin Phoenix is such a weird character, I think... Yeah. I think it's gonna affect him! He's a very good actor. Yeah, he's incredible. And he's a method actor as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, he, he, yeah, he's gonna be good. He's, he's gonna, gonna be, be damn good. good. Yeah. So let us know what you think, guys. Please leave your personal um, preference for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 best to worst Jokers. In the comments below, we'd absolutely love okay. that. Now, in the meantime, before we leave you, go on, Emil. I think... Oh, you're going to give yours? Okay, go. I think Heath Ledger's Joker yeah. is a little bit better than Mark Hamilton. I would a tend to agree bit, with you. Tiny, yeah, tiny I just love that character so much. Rufus? Right, I'm actually going to go... I'm not going to say either Mark Hamill or Heath Ledger because they're both fantastic in different ways. I'm actually going to just use this little soapbox here to give a shout out to one of the great neglected Jokers. Oh, you ready? You ready? Oh, hang on, hang on. Is this from the Batman? Nope. Okay. Okay, we're running out of time, so let's uh, sell it to us, Rufus. Who John it? DiMaggio in Under the Red Hood. The guy who plays Bender. He plays the Joker in it. He's phenomenal. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Check it out. I will. One of the best Batman that. movies. I didn't know it wasn't Mark Hamill. Didn't you? Well, there you go. How's that for a mark of quality? No, must be that good. You must be good. It's a really good movie. Right, we're so going to check good. that out as well. Now, ladies and gents, before we leave you, uh, something very, speaking of superheroes as well, we're kind of on trend here. Uh, our president met Jason, and I never remember his second name. I keep calling him Jason Moana. Jason Mimosa! Not. Jason Mimosa, yeah. Jason Mo Mo Momoa. Momoa, is it? it I think so. Yeah, Aquaman. Aquaman. Yeah, Aquaman. Jason right. Aquaman! Our president, who looks like uh, Dobby, met. Aquaman, right? And they had a conversation yeah. about climate change. They're two of the coolest individuals for very different reasons. Yeah. And there's a great photo of the Also, two just to give you an example in that photo, like of just how tall Jason was. Our president is like six foot seven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he is, yeah. He's really, really tall. So we're going to show it at the end of this episode. It's an absolutely cracking photo. We hope you enjoyed that. Please let us know any comments. As you're watching, please leave some comments and let us know what you think about Jokers. And if we got it right, if we got it wrong, what do you think of Joaquin Phoenix? Is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? And who's your uh, favourite Joker? Do it again. Do it again. Guys, we are going to go off and eat some birthday cake. We hope you've enjoyed yourself. We'll talk to you very soon, right here on Shush 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 Shush!